the drummer did wicked. What's up everybody, we're back here again at the Poor Man's Kitchen and today we have Monkfish. Uh, it's uh, probably one of the scariest and craziest and ugliest fish uh, known to man or at least in these parts of the world. Uh, the thing looks prehistoric, it's gigantic, it's it's uh, really it's crazy fish, I'll leave a photo for you. <clears throat> and you can check it out. But this is what it looks like after it gets all stripped. It looks like a brain. It's disgusting. And there's a membrane on it that's already been removed. So uh, in order to make bunkfish, we're going to do it really quick. And um, we're going to fry it. And I'm going to chop it up with my one and only tool, the knife, one of my favorite ones in the shed. Or the uh, what else am I we going to need? We're going to need this. We're going to be stirring stuff around in hot oil. So you don't want to get your hands in there. So when we get the, uh, we're going to make fish nuggets. We're going to have the fish nuggets sitting on this as they drip off all the oil. And then, of course, you have to have a strainer. So I brought the strainer, right? I'm keeping all of it really easy. It's the poor man's kitchen. Nothing nothing goes to waste. So what do we have here? We have a Thai sauce, um, wild times, tropical mango, marinade. I'm just going to use it. Uh, i got to get rid of it. So I'm going to put that in my own tata sauce. What? Homemade pickles right here. Dill pickles. We're going to take some of those out chop them up wicked small and and then what's left over my mayonnaise is not much left of it if you look there's like nothing left I'm gonna use the last of that by putting a little cream shake it up to loosen it up pour it in the bowl and then a dab of the Dijon and then uh, boom, boom, dab of the Dijon and uh, we'll have our own tata sauce so uh, let's get started uh, first thing we got to do is we got to add the oil all right, I've already had this uh, cast iron getting hot, and it is hot, extremely hot. And uh, I always leave it on low flame, it's on a medium flame. So. Here we go, I'm gonna add the oil, and by the time we're done chopping up this fish and putting it in the bag, all right, this bag, there's nothing in it but flour, okay? You know what, uh, we're gonna have to add a little bit of oil to the flesh of the uh, fish to give it a little bit of stick. Put on our sea salt. Then we put in our black pepper, and then I have other uh, spices I'm gonna put on, like parsley, oregano. We're gonna put a little bit of thyme in the mix, and you're gonna see that uh, in a few seconds. So um, let's get started. You don't want to have too much oil in the pot because when you put the fish in, it'll overflow and you'll burn up your house. You don't want to do that. You want to keep it just enough so that when they're finished, they'll float a little bit. And when they're floating, that's when they're done. So here goes the oil. It looked like a lot. It wasn't a lot. Let's chop up this fish.